Hello guys and welcome to a video. I'm going to be talking very quiet today and I'll explain why in a minute. Today we have our first muscle food hamper. It's in. Pan around and have a look at this beauty. Okay, but first I've got a tip for any aspiring YouTubers that have a child that find it difficult to make videos. Get yourself one of these. Genius! Don't even have to rock him. Just rocks himself to sleep. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the Muscle Food Hamper UK Review. <laughs> guys and welcome to what's probably going to be a pretty broken up YouTube video because the magic wonder Mamaru that was in the living room that was keeping Theo asleep is now not but he's behind the camera so if you hear some noise if you hear some noise stick with us I will go through the products one by one so first thing to say is I ordered a muscle food hamper I got a discount code online from one of the sponsored athletes Matt Does Fitness and I used Matt 10 for a discount code on a £40 hamper which was £4 delivery so I actually got £4 off so really the hamper was £4 effectively I got free delivery I've never used it before and uh, one of the reasons uh, I've never used it really is I used to work on a market store when I was younger and when I used to work on the market store uh, it used to, I used to sell meat and veg and stuff like that and I still know the guy today that uh, is on the market store so he sells me like 5 kilos worth of chicken for £15 now I've got a 2.5 kilo chicken here um, that um, was within the bundle so I normally get really good uh, value and products on meat I don't necessarily always go and buy additional stuff online from the supermarket I tend to buy it from the market so let's start off here, uh, £40 for the whole hamper, so it didn't necessarily include the prices within each one. Pretty straightforward, we've got a couple of supplementary products, so um, just some promotional stuff. And then these like free diet and exercise plans on their Muscle, Muscle Food UK website. And then it's got some comparisons of the main supermarkets um, that the prices are, and some before and after shots, and some other kind of marketing stuff like Harry's Razor Blade. So over here we have the muscle camp, so we've got two and a half kilos worth of chicken breast. Um, so again, that is good for about 10 meals, we tend to use 200 grams of chicken at a time. Then we've got some beef sirloin steaks, so they are 340 grams of uh, sirloin steak. Again, I'd argue whether 170 really is enough for uh, one person. I mean, it, it is, but I like sort of uh, meatier steaks than that. So we have a sirloin steak, then we have a pure beef rump steak which are 340 grams again weighted. Good thing about these, I think actually one of the good things is they are vacuum packed. So because they're vacuum packed they stay fresher for longer. So although Kim has frozen some of the stuff it didn't all necessarily need freezing. Then we've got um, some unsmoked bacon medallions with added water. I don't know why they've added water, why you would do that. Um, so let's have a look. Pretty good macros on there because per 100 gram you've got quite low fat. I'm assuming these are low fat ones. So they're not bad. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 um, unsmoked bacon medallions. We then got three gift box from Grey's if you've not been there before. I know some of my friends have used it. We've got some beef giant balls so again they're pretty uh, pretty reasonable for macros 4.8 grams per of fat per 100 grams um, I wouldn't normally eat things like that in fact I wouldn't even know how best to cook those uh, and I don't know it doesn't actually say on there the best way to cook them I'm assuming fry them but again they'd have to be quite deep fried in oil so again not, not too bad not too bad then we've got two extra lean steak burgers. So they're uh, they're pretty good because they're low in fat, uh, and sometimes you just have a craving for like a burger, don't you? And you just want to eat some kind of burger, and you might have some macros left in your carbs for your bread. 
So extra lean burgers. Uh, this one's been frozen by Kim, but it's extra lean um, beef mints. Extra lean beef mints there. So um, so this is less than 5% fat, which I think is uh, pretty good for mints. And then we've got, you'll tend to find this with most of the stuff, you've got low-fat Cumberland sausages. Uh, now sausages are a real pain for me because I do like sausages, but the problem that I have with sausages is that they contain so much fat. Now this is 454 grams of sausage and you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So roughly you get like uh, seven, 70 grams of sausage, which is probably going to be about 3 grams of fat. That's pretty good if you consider that a, uh, a normal sausage will have, uh, we had some the other day that I couldn't eat that had 10 grams of fat. So you've got 3 grams of fat and then you've also got about 15 grams of protein. So they're actually pretty macro friendly compared to normal sausages. So that's all the meats out of the way. Then they provide you with a sprinkle or rub to put on your choice of meat to cook. So um, 260 calories per 100 gram of that. So take a third of that. You're looking about you know 80 calories for that, which is like a seasoned rub. I've not tried that out. I'll give you another review if you're interested after that. I got two protein desserts that are quite macro friendly. Um, but I ate one of them, so apologies for that. It was like a caramel, like a, how do I describe it? A bit like a tracker bar, really. High in fiber, pretty good macros, uh, but as with all these things, you tend to find the quite high in fats. So we've got the meats, we've got two sets of steak, 2.5 kilos of chicken, beef giant meatballs, unsmoked medallions, extra lean beef uh, steak burgers, sausages, um, and then you've got the extra lean mints, then you've got a protein supplement and bar, you've got a rub, and then you've got these two things. Now I'm not entirely sure what these are. I think they're scratchings. I think they're like some kind of seriously high levels of protein, and they're not wrong. 69.7 grams of protein per 100 gram. 0.1% carbs. The catch, I'll tell you the catch. 26 grams of fat per 100 gram, which is just phenomenal. So if you think that this bag's got 30 grams in it, what you're going to be looking at is roughly 20 grams of protein per bag, I would say. Uh, but with that, you're going to have, you know, like 8 grams of fat. I'm going to open one of these. I'm going to try them. Holy shit. I can't explain how uh, how strong they smell. <laughs> Not bad. A little bit dry. Very, very dry. Not bad, not bad. So yeah, pretty much overall, um, I think it's good value. It's better value than you would get from Tesco or Asda or somewhere like that. Um, like I said, I can get the chicken for cheaper, but the other stuff's good to mix up. Now there is one other thing that's probably worthwhile noting, and that is what it comes in, the box it comes in. So, you know like if you order your shopping online, you get pinned down to a date, so you say I want it between 8 and 9, for example. Well, with this it's DPD, so it just, they just deliver it and you obviously got to be in. So I don't know what would happen if you weren't in because it's a frozen product. But you'll see in the bag, it comes in a box like this with a bag. And um, it comes with some ice packs. Now DPD, to be fair to them, did give me some delivery dates. Uh, a delivery time slot but that was only the day before so that could be a bit of a problem because a lot of times you don't necessarily want to be waiting in all day for a parcel if your, your food and your meat's coming so if you're listening to muscle food hopefully you can sort that out that would be much better if you could like appoint different slots overall pretty balanced not tried it yet when i try it i'll let you know and see what it tastes like <laughs>